hallelujah, that is pouring, Lord in the hearts of your people oh god we pray right now hallelujah oh god that you would move lord in this place on today in the name of jesus we thank you that you would move lord in the midst of your people have your way today have your way is our prayer today in the name of jesus oh god we yield ourselves to you the more god oh god we yield ourselves to your will the more in the name of jesus oh god we love thank you right now and we love you god oh god you've been so good to us lord oh god down through the years you've been good to us we thank you for salvation we thank you lord hallelujah for breakthrough we thank you right now for purpose and destiny oh god being fulfilled lord in us lord in the name of jesus oh god we thank you right now we love you oh god we appreciate you oh god for what you have done in the name of jesus we thank you right now oh god for blessing our lives lord oh god you blessed us lord time and time again when the enemy was trying to come and destroy our lives lord when the enemy came in like a flood you lifted up a standard against him and we thank you in the name of jesus we thank you right now oh god for your peace oh god and for your love lord in the name of jesus oh god today we ask god that above all lord oh god that your anointing would be upon us lord that your anointing would rest oh god in this house in the name of jesus we pray right now that you would send your people in this place lord in the name of jesus send those in the house today lord oh god we thank you hallelujah thank you lord send those in the house on today in the name of your son jesus oh god we pray god that you would send god those online lord that need a word god that need a touch lord in the name of jesus oh god we thank you right now hallelujah we thank you now oh god we continue to decree and declare oh god that the month of may god we decree and declare that the month of may oh god is a month of miracles we continue to decree it to be so in the name of your son jesus we thank you for the miracles that have already happened for the miracles that have already taken place and god we stand god on this eighth day of may god oh god speaking right now god new beginnings in our life god new beginnings in our spirit man god oh god a fresh anointing god be upon us lord newness of mind newness oh god of heart hallelujah thank you god newness of spirit lord in the name of jesus we thank you that your word oh god said remember not the former things neither the things of old for behold i will do a new thing in you and it shall spring forth hallelujah we thank you that the new thing is springing forth now in the name of jesus we thank you right now that the new thing is springing forth right now in the name of jesus oh god we thank you for a fresh word oh god in this house on today god in the name of jesus oh god we thank you right now god oh god for first lady candace in the name of jesus bless her today god as she bring the word God as she bring forth the word let your word come with clarity oh God clarity of thought clarity of speech clarity of mind in the name of Jesus have your way today as we intercede Lord oh God for those Lord that are joining the live right now we intercede on their behalf we pray that you will bless their homes Lord anoint their lives Lord in the name of Jesus we thank you for deliverance Lord we thank you for victory Lord in the name of Jesus oh God for those that are watching us online and those that are in the house on today we plead your blood today in the name of Jesus we plead your blood today and we say have your way God have your way God have your way God in the name of Jesus we say have your way in this place Lord have your way God in this moment God have your way God in the name of Jesus we give you praise now we give you praise Lord in the name of Jesus we glorify you because you've been so good to us we glorify you in the name of Jesus we praise your holy name God in the name of Jesus have your way today God move by your spirit God and get the glory today Lord in the name of Jesus walk down the aisles Lord and move by your spirit God get the glory today 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way today. Somebody say, have your way, God. Somebody say, have your way in this place. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, we need you today. We want you today. We can't do it without you today. In the name of Jesus, God, pour out your spirit, Lord, in this place, God. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, we need you right now. We need you right now. We need you right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we need you now. Oh, God, to fill this house, Lord, with your anointing. Fill this house, Lord, with your anointing. Fill this house, God, with your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of your son, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Walk down the aisles, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. We declare your glory in this place. We declare your glory in this place. We declare your power to be in this place. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you mighty God, you mighty God, you mighty God, you mighty to save, you strong to deliver. Yes, Lord, we praise you. Yes, Lord, we praise you. We praise your name, God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we praise your name, God. Yes, God, we praise your name. Come on, those that are entering the lives. Come on, if you're entering the lives, go ahead and put praise on the screen. Come on, Lord, I love you. Come on, Lord, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. Yes, Lord. Lord, you've been good. Lord, you've been good. Lord, you've been kind. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. Yes, Lord, miracles, signs, and wonders. Be in this house today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And everything that you do today, we'll tell you thank you. We'll tell you thank you. We'll tell you thank you. In the name of Jesus, the miracles, we'll tell you thank you. The signs and wonders, we'll tell you thank you. We'll tell you thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord praise in this house. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord glory in this house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You've been good. You've been good, and we bless your name. We reverence you today. We lift our hands in the sanctuary, and we reverence you. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Hallelujah. On today, we're going to, amen, lift up, amen, Psalms 34 and 1. Amen. It is a very familiar, amen, text, amen. We uh, preached and taught this uh, uh, text on Thursday night in our uh, Thursday manifestation uh, service. And I, I would that you would uh, just grab your Bibles. Uh, most of us may know this by heart, amen. But again, Psalms 34 and 1. Psalms 34 and 1. And it simply says this I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just say it. Say it again with me. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth hallelujah if you come to praise the lord today come on and praise him come on and praise him come on and clap your hands and give the lord glory hallelujah amen amen we welcome you and we thank god for all of our mothers on today amen happy mother's day to all the mothers in the house happy mother's day to those amen that are watching us online we say happy mother's day and we are excited amen we give honor amen uh to amen lady uh candace on today amen our the lady of this house amen our first lady we say happy mother's day to you thank god amen for my wife thank god for reverend face 
congregation, amen, for my mother, my mother, amen, my birth mother, amen, being in the house on today and all the other mothers, we celebrate you today, amen, to the glory of God, amen, happy Mother's Day, hallelujah, happy Mother's Day, amen, as, as we get ready to go into our praise and worship on today, amen, let's, amen, recite, amen, or let's speak, amen, the affirmation of manifestation, amen, you'll see it on the screen amen momentarily amen if you're watching us online please join in amen with us amen for the affirmation of manifestation amen and let's say it with power let's say it with authority uh, in the name of Jesus glory to God hallelujah hallelujah we're excited about being in the presence of the Lord amen I said we're excited about being in the presence of the Lord hallelujah amen and if you would say it with me of uh, the affirmation of manifestation now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that is working in us Ephesians 3 and 20 with men this is impossible but with God all things are possible Matthew 19 and 26 ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you Matthew 7 and 7 and with my faith and affirmation I will praise God every day because the manifestation is already done if you know that the manifestation is already done come on clap your hands yes clap your hands and let's give the lord praise on today glory to god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah the manifestation is already done hallelujah and we thank god for the opportunity to praise him and to worship him on today amen hallelujah amen all right let's go into praise and worship on today amen do y'all mind amen are y'all ready to praise god on today amen we're going to track it out on today if that's all right we're going to track it out on today and give god the glory that is due unto him how many ready to praise him uh just look at in your neighbor just look at your neighbor say i'm ready to praise the lord yes i'm ready to praise the lord come on go ahead and type it in the comment and say i'm ready to praise the lord amen we lifted up psalms 34 and 1 amen i will bless the lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth amen so let's lift up a little bit of this uh, song on today hallelujah let's give God the glory in this house on today let's magnify the name of the Lord hallelujah because he's worthy to be praised come on if you know it say magnify the Lord with me the Lord yes yes come on whom the son he has redeemed thank you Lord hallelujah come on clap your hands Rejoice and sing. You are the Lord of everything. You are Lord of everything. Yes, come on. Let's say, I will bless the Lord. Come on, we're going to track it out today. Come on, bless the Lord at all times. Come on, clap your hands in the house on today. Come on, lift your voice. Say, I will bless the Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Say, bless the Lord at all times. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's do the second verse. For the Lord our God is great. Hey. Thank you, Lord. The song says, perfect, Lord, in all your ways. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. God of mercy, Lord of grace. Yeah, hallelujah. Come on, he's the holy one, ancient of days. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voice and say, I will. Yeah, let's give God glory. Bless the Lord at all times. Come on, I hear you all today. Come on, lift your voice and say, I will bless the Lord. Yeah, bless the Lord at all times. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, say, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh, my soul and all that's within the blessed name. Yeah, yes, we come to praise the name of Jesus on the day. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, Woo! and all that's within me. Come on, bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, I just say, I will bless the Lord. Come on, lift up your voice and say, come on, say, I will bless the Lord. Come on, lift up your voice and say, 
Come on, I will bless the Lord. Come on, I will bless the Lord. Come on, David made up his mind. Come on, now you got to make up in your mind. Come on, I will bless the Lord with the fruit of my lips. I said, I will bless the Lord with the praise in my hand. Come on, oh, clap your hands. Come on, all ye people, and shout unto God, glory, with the voice of triumph. Come on, say, I will bless the Lord. The food on my table, I'm still going to bless him. I'm still going to honor him. Why? Because I've never seen the righteous. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Come on, no him see begging prayer. I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Come on, clap your hands on today. And say, I will bless the Lord. Come on, clap your hands. Come on and lift up your voices. I said, lift up your voices. I said, lift up your voice. I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Yes, Lord, oh, magnify. I said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt. Let us exalt his name together. Say, I will bless the Lord. <laughs> Say, I will bless the Lord. He's been so good to me. Has he been good to you? I said, have he been good to you? Say, I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Woo! I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Glory. I will bless the Lord. Hey, I will bless the Lord. That's what I come to do today. Because he's been so good. Come on, has he saved anybody? Has he filled anybody with his spirit? Say, I will bless the Lord. Come on now, when I think about it, he has done great things. Woo! So I, come on, he has done great things. Come on, he has done great things for me. He saved me. He set me free. He has done great things. Glory, hey, come on. So he has done great things. Come on, he keeps keeping me. Come on, he keeps blessing me. He keeps restoring me. He has done great things. Yes, he has. He has done great things. Yes, Lord, he has done great things. Come on, one more time. He has done great things. Great things for me, so I will bless the Lord. Come on, lift up your voice one more time. Bless the Lord. Come on, clap your hand and give him glory. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah. This next song says, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Come on, somebody scream, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Can you say this? Say, oh, 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 oh. Come on, lift. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. You're so good. Is the Lord good? Come on, lift up your voice. Say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and and your mercy endures forever. Come on, can you sing it with me? Lord, you are good in your mercy. Yes, I hear you singing it, Justice. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. People from every nation. People from ever, from generation to generation. Come on, clap your hands and say, we want some you. We say, hallelujah. Yes. We worship you today. Because you've been good for who you are. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. And we shout hallelujah in your presence. Glory to God for who you are. Come on, now shout. Say you are good. Yeah. Glory to God. We give you the praise today. Hallelujah. We're excited about what the Lord is doing today. Come on, let's say it again. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it. Come on, I said we're tracking it out today. Lord, you are good and your mercy. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Come on. People from every nation, people from every nation, from generation to generation. And we worship you. Yeah. Come on, clap your hands. 
today. Say hallelujah. Woo! The highest praise. We worship you, Jesus, for who you are. Woo! Yeah. I like it. We worship you, Jesus. Come on, put those hands together today. Say hallelujah. Hey. We worship you, Jesus. Yeah. For who you are. Hey. Hey. Say you are good. Come on, I just clap your hands everywhere. Has the Lord been good to anybody? Hallelujah. I say, has the Lord been good to anybody? Open up your mouth and talk to me today. Come on, say, say you are good. All the time. All the time. You are good. Come on, it's a praise party this morning. All the time. And all the time. You are good. Say you are good. All the time. Hey, all the time. You are good. Say you are good, Jesus. You are good. You kept me when the enemy tried to take me out. You are good. You are good, Jesus. All the time. Woo, all the time. You are good. You saved my soul. You delivered me from the snare. You delivered me from the snare of the Father. You are good, yeah. Yeah. And your mercy endures forever. Come on, lift up your hands. Lord, you are good. Say, Lord, you are good. And your mercy. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy. Yeah. Oh. Lift up your hands and worship him. Lord, you are good. Come on, we're singing the scripture. Thank you, Lord. People from every nation and tongue. From every nation and tongue. Come on, let's lift it up one more time. We worship you. Say hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Come on, I love it. We worship you, Jesus. We lift up your name. We lift up our voices. We worship you, Lord, for who you are. For who you are Yeah, for who you are That's it, so you are good You are good Yeah Glory to God Glory to God, hallelujah Hallelujah, how many know that God has been good? How many know that God has been good? He's been good, has he been good? To anybody, has he been good? To anybody, has he solved problems for anybody? Has he made ways for anybody? Has he brought you into the house even today? Hallelujah. So I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I shall give him glory. I shall give him praise. Why? Our affirmation, we said it a little while ago, because the manifestation is already done. Come on, if you know the manifestation is already done, come on and copy your hands and give the Lord glory. Come on, open up your mouth while you clap your hands and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. He's so good. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so good. Listen, hallelujah. We're excited about the uh, presence of the Lord. You may be seated if you can. Amen. We're excited about the presence of the Lord. Amen. Welcome, amen, one more time. Welcome to more Manifestation Church, Gainesville. Amen. Come on. Yes, yes. We are happy and excited, amen, to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And so today is uh, May 8th. Somebody say May 8th. And we have been declaring, glory to God, that the month of May, the month of May is a month of miracles. And I don't know about you all, but God has been performing miracles in my life already. God has been doing amazing things. Somebody shout, amazing. He's been doing amazing things things in the life of his people we have been receiving testimonies about new job hallelujah uh, we've been receiving testimonies about new favor hallelujah operating already hallelujah within the first few days glory to God of the month of May hallelujah so today is the eighth day somebody say the eighth day and the number eight is new beginnings glory to God somebody shout new beginnings Oh, somebody open up your mouth and shout it with faith. Somebody say, new beginnings. 
uh, which is to say out with the old glory to God uh, out with the old way in the old way amen there may have been doubt in the old way there may have been depression in the old day there may have been hurt glory to God but somebody say I thank God for the new day Woo! somebody say I thank God for the new day the new day hallelujah the new day so this is amen uh, May 8th and we thank God for the new day we thank God that this is the day which the Lord hath made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it also we are so thankful of course that today as we said earlier is Mother's Day yes we're excited uh, we're excited that it is Mother's Day it is Mother's Day amen I see y'all commenting amen about the new beginning amen thank God for those that are watching us online as well amen if you can do us a favor and just go ahead and share this live to your timeline we would love for you to do that and hashtag more manifestation amen church amen uh, 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 do us a favor and share this live to your timeline we are so excited and you still have an opportunity of course to join us in person glory to God hallelujah join us in person our address is 4000 West Newberry Road sweet F oh glory to God and we're excited about what the Lord is doing and so we're celebrating our mothers on today we have a man uh, uh, my, my wife Lady Candace we give honor to her on today amen she's the mother of our beautiful daughter amen my beautiful wife we thank God that my birth mother is here today Reverend Faison thank God amen we celebrate you all we celebrate God bless you Sister Ebony Sister Leslie all of you all God's people we celebrate the women amen and I have a special presentation amen that I'm going to present to you all uh, on today, amen, at the end of service. So we're getting ready for that. We're getting ready for that. Amen. But we thank God. I'm excited on today also. Glory to God that my wife, amen, Lady Candace, is going to speak the word on today in this house. Glory to God. Amen. And in the exception of, of this ministry, glory to God, uh, we, we were having what you call Monday manifestation. Somebody say Monday manifestation. Glory to God. If you say it in your spirit, amen, tomorrow is Monday. Amen. If you say it in your spirit, amen, you can receive a blessing on tomorrow. Glory to God. Amen. Even while I'm talking, glory to God. But we thank God, amen, that during when we were having Monday manifestation, my wife and I, amen, we were tag teaming a lot, amen, to the glory of God as we were getting things ready for ministry. And so I thank God for the calling on her life. I thank God that the word of God is in her. Amen. And so we are already praying for her. Glory to God that she would minister a word that will bless our ladies today, bless our mothers, bless our men. Come on, come somebody. Amen. I want to be blessed. Glory to God by the word as well. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. So we're excited again. We're excited about the word of God coming forth from her on today amen uh, before we do that amen we're going to get ready to receive amen of our tithe and our offering on today we're going to receive of our gifts to the Lord on today amen hallelujah uh, the Bible says that we should purpose in our heart glory to God what we are going to give and so I've already amen thought about what I wanted to do on today hallelujah uh, to bless the Lord's house amen and y'all know my saying y'all know my saying glory to God y'all know my saying glory to God it if you take care of God's house, he'll take care of your house. And I'm a witness, glory to God, hallelujah, that at times, amen, when it seemed like the barrel was low, glory to God, anybody ever been there? Seemed like the, the, the barrel was almost empty. And then God, with his amazing favor, said, you know what? I saw the seed that you sowed when you had it, glory to God. And now I'm going to give you favor, glory to God. Now I'm going to give you your seed back, glory to God. Some 30, some 60, some a hundredfold, somebody saw a thousandfold return. Glory to God. And so we're excited, amen, about the opportunity to give. Amen. Uh, uh, um, Sister Justice, lady, uh, Justice, do me a favor and, and grab uh, Daddy a, uh, um, go and grab Daddy an envelope if you would on today. Amen. If anybody else needs a giving envelope on today, uh, please uh, just raise your hand and we'll get that uh, to you. Amen. To the glory to God. Amen. 
Glory to God. Thank you so much. Amen. And so we're honored, amen. We're honored, amen, for the opportunity to serve the Lord. Again, uh, we're thankful for those that are watching us online. Thank you so much that are watching us online. And we uh, ask that you would uh, also participate in this opportunity uh, to give, amen. Uh, thank God that our sister Antoinette, glory to God, Dickerson is online with us on today. She's a partner with More Manifestation. So we say happy Mother's Day to you also sister Antoinette glory to God hallelujah thank God on today amen thank you thank you so much for this pen I'm going to sow on today a seed of $35 glory to God $35 glory to God on today glory to God hallelujah I'm going to sow a seed of $35 I ask all of those that can do the same amen that if you will follow me if you don't have $35 I want you to get the the closest seed to $35 that you can. Amen. Those that are in the house, glory to God. Those that are watching us online. And we don't want to take a long time uh, to do this, but we want to give. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Somebody say, good measure. Press down, shaken together, and run it. That's my part right there. Glory to God. And run it over. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says, shall men give unto your bosom amen men there is a mankind glory to god so don't think it not strange amen this week that as you sow this seed amen uh, that uh, some man or some woman may walk up to you glory to god think it not strange that some man or some woman would email you this week hallelujah amen that say i just thought about you i got a blessing for you glory to god somebody say running over Oh, God, we speak new clients in the name of Jesus. We speak new business ventures in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, hallelujah, that money and favor would find us. Glory to God. Oh, we, we can't. We can't delay, amen, uh, in what we do for the Lord, hallelujah, because when we move for God, he'll move for us, glory to God. And so there are three ways that you can give. There are three ways that you can give, and you'll see it on the screen uh, uh, even now. There are three ways that you can give, amen. You can use our ministry cash app, which is dollar sign, hallelujah, more manifestation, hallelujah, dollar sign, more manifestation. Somebody say more manifestation. Uh, we, of course, uh, also we are on, on GiveLify, on the GiveLify app. Amen. If you give by GiveLify, uh, all you have to do, amen, is download the GiveLify app and uh, create your profile one time. Amen. And after that, amen, it is very, very easy to continue to give. You can also mail your gifts for those that are watching us online or maybe watching uh, the rebroadcast, our partners and our supporters uh, that are not in the state of Florida. You may be watching us online. You can always mail your gifts to P.O. Box. 140196 Gainesville, Florida 32614. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the opportunity to give. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, one final thing uh, in the scripture. Uh, the Bible says as long as the earth remains, a uh, seed, time, and harvest. Uh, go ahead and put that in there for me, Lady Candace, if you would. Thank you so much. As long as the earth remains, seed, time, and harvest. Somebody shout harvest! Woo, come on, somebody shout it again. Harvest. Yes, Lord. Harvest, harvest, harvest. As long as the earth remains. Glory to God. Amen. And I looked out, I woke up this morning and realized we were still here. Glory to God. So as long as the earth remains, amen, there's an opportunity for seed, time, and harvest. Hallelujah. As long as I wake up, amen, I, I'm looking for a blessing. Glory to God. As long as I wake up and I'm moving, I'm conscious. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm looking for a miracle. Uh, the Clark sisters said it like this. The sky is the limit uh, to what I can have. Glory to God. Well, I want to just say that I think it's more than the sky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, there is no limit. Somebody said there is no limit to what I can have. Glory to God. There is no limit to what we can have. Glory to God. Uh, let's uh, stand and pray over these seeds on today. Amen. If you're giving, amen, uh, 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 by means of by one of those means, you can just lift up your phone or if you have an envelope, have your seat, whatever it is. Uh, you may not have a seat on today, and that's all right too. Just lift up your hands. Let's pray prophetically that God will put seed into our hands. Let's pray. Amen. Let's decree and declare that God shall continue to place seeds in our hands. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's stand on today. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. If you're watching us, hallelujah, in your homes, just lift up your seat, lift up your phones, however you're giving. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you today. Oh, God, again, we continue to decree and declare that the month of May is a month of miracles. Glory to God. Somebody shout miracles. Come on, in the house, somebody shout miracles. Come on, online, type it in the comment, miracles. We thank you that the miracles are finding us. We thank you right now that we believe that we are sowing on good ground. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. That as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest. Hallelujah. We thank you that we are sowing our seeds. Hallelujah. Of gratitude unto you. We thank you, God, for again this eighth day, this Mother's Day. We are speaking the new thing, God. We thank you for new things happening in our lives, new things happening in our family, new things happening on our job, new things, glory to God, happening in our children, new things, hallelujah, new miracles, new favor, new blessings. We speak it now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you right now, and we honor you. God, you've been so good to us. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough for the things we have done. We decree and declare and affirm that every blessing that has happened in our lives is because of you. God, we thank you that you said in your word that if we can count the sand, we can count our miracles. We thank you that you said in your word that if we can count the stars, then we are counting our miracles. And we thank you for Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us we thank you and we praise you in jesus name thank you lord amen amen come on come with your seed amen we have receptacles on the left hand side and on the right hand side uh, come on bring your gifts uh, to the lord amen bring your gifts to the lord amen uh with a smile with happiness and joy in your heart hallelujah thank you so much for your giving thank you so much for your giving thank you so much Thank you so much for your giving. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. We're getting ready for the word of the Lord. Amen. For the word of the Lord. And we're going to offer up the, uh, to the Lord. Glory to God. One more. Amen. Worship song. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. One more worship song unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I thank God. Uh, Lady Candace says, sing, Pastor. Amen. Uh, usually Lady Candace would be, amen, doing our praise and worship, amen, but she's speaking on today, so I wouldn't dare, you know, have her just do the whole thing, glory to God, amen, but I'm getting ready to yield it over to her, amen, and once I sit down, amen, she'll have it, she's going to bring an awesome word, and now uh, she will do our alt altar time, and I, I pray that, uh, that, that there's a mighty move of God in this place, we've been praying, amen, that there's a mighty word from God, a mighty move from God, amen, and then at the end of the service, I'm going to come back, amen, as I said earlier, and make those presentations to the mothers, amen, to the, to the mothers, glory to God, hallelujah, amen, how many are happy about what God is doing uh, in, in your life, hallelujah, 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 thank you, Lord, amen, hallelujah, all right, let's worship the Lord, amen, let's worship the Lord, hallelujah, let's, let's worship the Lord on today, hallelujah, this song says, here's my worship. We present our worship to the Lord on today. Hallelujah. How many come to present your worship? Just lift your hands with me. Hallelujah. This song just simply says, you, Lord, you are worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And no one can worship you for me. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for all the things you've done for me. Hallelujah. How many can think about the things he's done? And no one can worship you for me. Hallelujah. So we present our worship. Here's my worship. Hallelujah. All of my worship. Thank you, Lord. Receive my worship. Ah, all of my worship. Come on, say, here's my worship. Here's my worship. Come on, 
going to sing it all of my worship. You sing it with me today. Hallelujah. Receive my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. Come on, lift your hands one more time and say, you, Lord, you are worthy. You, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy. We bless your name. We came to bless your name. Hallelujah. No one can worship you for me. We lift our hands in your presence on today for all the things you've done for me. For all the things that you've done for me. You've made many ways. Hallelujah. You've opened many doors. But no one can worship you. Hallelujah. Can worship you for me. Hallelujah. Come on. Now lift up your voice in this sanctuary. Here's my worship. Here's my worship. Come on. All of my worship. Yes. Come on. I hear you singing it. Come on. Say, here's my worship. My worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. All of my work. Yes, Lord. Come on. Here's my worship. My worship. All of my worship. All of my work. Father, receive my worship today. Receive my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. Hallelujah. Here's my worship. Hallelujah. All of my, all of my worship. Receive my worship today. Hallelujah. As I lift up my hands, as I lift up my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Here's my worship. Woo. Thank you, Lord. All of my worship. All of my word, worship. Father, receive my worship today. Oh, all of my, all of my worship. Thank you, Lord. This next part just says, And I will not be silent. And I will always worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As an all. Yes, Lord, and I will all worship you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, this is a declaration that you must make. And I will not be silent, and I will not be silent. I will not be silent. I will always, I will always lift you up. I will always adore you. I will always give you the praise. Hallelujah. And why? As long as I'm breathing, glory to God. As long as I have breath in my body, as long as I have breath in my lungs, I will always, glory to God, I will always, I will always worship you. Worship you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will, I will not be silent. I will stand and proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I will stand and proclaim glory to God. Hallelujah. Your goodness in my life. As long as I am breathing, as I am breathing, I will always, I will always worship you. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Here's my worship. Here's my worship. Come on, all of my worship. I stand in your presence, and where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. Glory to God. All of my worship, Jesus, all of my. Here's my worship today. Say, all of my. I give you my all. The old song said, I give my life fully committed to you. All of my worship. All of my worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you, Lord, you are worthy. Come on, if you know the Lord is worthy, come on. Lift up your hands and let's give him glory. Let's receive Lady Candace on today. Hallelujah. Let's receive the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if you're not standing, come on, let's stand and let's begin to worship the Lord with our words and with our life and with our praise unto God. Come on, let everything that have breath, come on, the Bible says let everything 
that have breath, if you have breath in your body, come on, lift your hands, open up your mouths, and begin to worship the Lord. Give him your worship. Give him what is due unto him, for he inhabits the praises of his people. Is there anybody here that has been claimed and docked as his person and his people on today? Is there anybody here that has been selected to be a vessel unto God that you will lift up your worship, you will lift up your hands, no matter what's going on on the outside, no matter what you left outside the doors. When you came into the doors, you came in with purpose, you came in with the mindset, come on, I know somebody else other than me, came in with the mindset to lift up the name of Jesus. Somebody came in with the mindset to give him glory. Somebody came with the mindset to worship the Lord. For it's our worship that we give unto God. So we lift our hands in the sanctuary. We open up our mouths in the sanctuary. Come on, if you're watching, come on, give your glory unto God. Give unto him the glory that is to his name. Give unto the Lord the glory that's to his name. Give unto him, to him the glory that's to unto his name. Father, we honor you. We thank you for this time of fellowship. Thank you for this time of worship. Thank you, Father, for this is the day. Hallelujah. Somebody say it. This is the day. Come on, say it again. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. We are glad. We are happy. We are not sad. We are lifting up our voice unto you, God. We made the wake up list on this morning. So we're giving you glory and honor unto your name. We are thanking you, Lord, and we are blessing your name. For, Lord, you are good and your mercies endure forever. Hallelujah. We proclaim it, Lord, you are good. Hallelujah. And your mercies endure forever. New mercies we see. Hallelujah. New mercies you gave unto us, oh God. When we woke up this morning, you woke us up in our right mind. You gave us the activity of our limbs. You let us move on today. You let us move right foot over. And you let us move left foot over. You let us stand into your sanctuary. You let us open up our mouths. You give us honor and grace. And we bless your name. We thank you now, God. Thank you, God, for this is the day that you have made. We thank you for what you're doing right now, God. Thank you for what you're going to do, God. We bind the, the attack of the enemy. We, re we counsel the assignment of the devil that will try to bring depression and oppression or anxiety into anybody's life. But we thank God for the victory. Come on, we clap our hands and thank God for the victory. We clap our hands and thank God for the victory. Thank God for the victory. Thank God for the victory. For it's in your name that we are victorious. Hey, that an emotion. It's in your name that we are victorious. It's in your name that we are powerful. It's in your name that we are strong, God. And we thank you for it now. Bless every mother, God. Bless every auntie, every sister, God. Bless every father, God. Bless every child, God. Thank you now for giving us joy, unspeakable joy. Thank you for joy, unspeakable joy. We decree and declare it in this place, God, that you shall lift us up to a higher place in you. Because we want to go higher. Anybody want to go higher? We want to go higher. Higher in you, Jesus. Hey, 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 God. We thank you for it now. We thank you for it now. Use us for your glory, God. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory. Let your word come forth, God, with power. Let your word come forth, God, with clarity. Let your word come forth, God, to encourage and build our spirit and build our faith even the more. For those that are in the house, God, for those that are in the house via social media, thank you now, God. We thank you now, God. All God's people, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we bless your name. If you believe it and know that it is so, come on, clap your hands and give them glory. Clap your hands and give them honor. Let it flow from your belly that you are thankful unto the Lord. We give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. While you're taking your seat, look at somebody and say, I'm thankful. 
Say, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Can you help me thank God and celebrate the gift of this house? Our pastor, Pastor Justin Thomas, I love you, babe. I thank God for you. Praying for you. You, you did a lot today. I know what you feel like. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I, look, I, I, we done switched today. I, look, I got my hanky. Now, I don't plan for nothing. Now, if sweat start rolling down my head, y'all, listen. I'm at that. I'm going to pull it, but I'm going to have to call Sister Brandy. I'm say, Sister Brandy, I need to come back. Oh, but we thank God for another opportunity. Can we just clap our hands and celebrate God for all the mothers that are present in the house? Happy Mother's Day. I say happy Auntie's Day to all the sisters, to everyone. Happy, happy future Mother's Day to the daughter. Justice asked me this morning, is that Daughter's Day? Yes, there's a Daughter's Day coming. But we thank God for you. Um, today, I want to share with you what the Lord has given unto me. And I pray, I pray that, that this comes out the way I know that God will do it. Hallelujah. I know that God will do it because this, this will not be me. This will be all God. Turn with me into Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 1. This is a text that's more commonly read around Christmas time where they're talking about the birth of Jesus. But I thought it'd be fitting that if we're going to talk about Mother's Day, why not talk about the mother of Jesus, okay? Why not talk about the mother of Jesus, all right? So that, that's what we're going to do, and I pray that this is a blessing to you as it has been to me, and let God do what he does best. All right, so we're going to read a little bit from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. I'm reading from the King James Version. And it says, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Verse 29, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor. Somebody say favor. Thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Verse 34, then said Mary unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. 36, And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Verse 38, and Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. I want to share in your hearing coming from a topic. Look at somebody and say, there's something about Mary. Look at somebody else and say, there's something about Mary. If, if I may take a subtopic, which I'm going to, it's going to be, I am an instrument 
of possibility. Anybody know that you're an instrument of possibility? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get through it. There's a famous quote that reads, a mother, the woman that carries the child in the womb up to nine months, three years in her arms and in their heart forever. There's something about Mary. What is the role of a mother? The mother can be a caregiver, an unconditional love giver. She's the housekeeper, the cooker, the baker, the taxi driver. She's the psychologist. She's the doctor. She's the kisser of all boo-boos. I get that all the time. Mommy, I got a boo-boo. She's the cheerleader. She's the discipliner. She's the photographer. They take selfies together. She's a listener, and the list goes on and on and on. But it is a blessed intuition and gift from God that allows an innate ability to a human being to be equipped to know how to multitask, make plans for the next day, the day before, while achieving success in the current day, learning from the events of what happened yesterday, while yet ensuring that everybody in the house is where they are supposed to be, making sure that everybody is on task, that everybody is focused, that they're ready for their daily assignments, whether it's for one or it could be for 15. I got some family members, I got 15 children. Mm -hmm. But with all kinds of hectic schedules, yeah. sometimes facing limitations and embracing any and all emergencies that may arise, they yet still make sure that they keep themselves in a place where they maintain their peace wow. and they do what needs to be done in a 24 hour day. It makes a lot, make, make a lot of things come to, to sense that only a mother, somebody say only a mother. Only a mother. only a mother can make some things happen out of nothing. Can we say thank God for mamas? Yes. Come on, let's say it. Thank God for mamas. It's mommy's day. And listen, we don't, we don't uh, discount daddies. We thank God for daddies too. We thank God for daddies. Your, your mom coming next month. But right, right today, we're talking about mommies and, and we're celebrating mommies today. Have you ever witnessed a mother take something out of nothing? Amen. I did, I did. Let me talk about my mother. My mother, we affectionately called her the law. We call her the law one because those were her initials, Linda Ann Wiley, we call her the law. And then we call my daddy the Jew, James Everwhite. But my mama really was the law because we had to follow what she was saying. My father, he drove trucks and he was out at different random times, so we had to follow the instructions of our mother, because if we didn't, we knew that there was something to come with that. And, and you know, I jokingly said, um, like, they had a way of getting us. My daddy got us before he left, and then my mama got us while he was gone, and then when he came back, we got another getting too if we did something bad. But there were times that we watched our mother working a nine to five with all six of us. I'm the baby of all six, four girls and two boys. That we watched our mother make something out of nothing. She knew how to take what was in the house yeah. to be able to suffice for us in the house and make it last throughout the week. Anybody ever yeah. seen that? Yeah. Ever seen it where they take $50 and you know you got to get gas and groceries, take everybody to school, to everybody after school programs and stuff and still make it happen. Yeah only a mother it's only god listen and now i'm i'm even getting getting tickled at the times of things that i heard my mother say that i find myself doing now like i'll say to justice don't let me say it again and i still end up saying it again i still find myself doing that i hear my mother when she would say jesus and I, I start mumbling, Jesus, because I need Jesus to help me. I need his help. But it's, it's okay. It's, it's a lot of things that I learned from my mother, a lot of things that I learned from my father. But I'm just glad that I got it from my mama. Come on, say, I got it from my mama. I got it from my mama. So let's look at the text. Our mother focused today, Jesus' mother, Mother Mary. Mary was a descendant of David. And she was indeed a virgin. She was betrothed, shall we say, engaged to Joseph. And I would say that she was a very wholesome, independent, young woman of character. She had her own house, according to Luke 1, verse 56 through 57. At this time that she was engaged, they started engagements at an early time. They started them like in their teenage years. And they stayed engaged for at least a year. Mary was fit 
to be in the position to fulfill the prophecy that was foretold in Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. Isaiah said that a pure young woman would give birth to God's son. Many scriptures foretold of Jesus' birth. That he would come from the seed of David's lineage and would be born of a woman from a virgin birth. So in our text today in verse 26 and 27, it says uh, that G there, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Our first point of recognition to be like Mary or something like Mary, we must be in position. Somebody say be in position. Be in position. We must be in position or place to be found. We got to let God's GPS, God's global position system find us, track us down because the angel found Mary. The angel found Mary. Your GPS is, is a system that is in your car, and you know sometimes it will reroute you and direct you to wherever you need to go. But how many want the Lord to find you in the right position? Want the Lord to find you in the right place so that when it's time for your miracle to come, your miracle will find you, that your miracle will find you in the right position. Now, what position that you're in when the miracle comes or when God is finding you, that's up to you. You have to make your altar where you're praying unto God and make yourself at a place that you say, Lord, I'm available to you, and I'm ready to receive from you. Anybody ready to be found to do great things in the kingdom? Come on, clap your hands if you are and say, thank God. Thank you, God. In Ezekiel 34 and 11, it says, for thus says the Lord God, behold, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. I will seek the lost and bring back the scattered in verse 16. John 10 and 27, it says, for my sheep, they hear my voice. So when, when you are sheep of the Lord, you know what he's saying. Yeah. You know his voice, and you won't depart from them. I would say that Mary was a sanctified young girl. All right. I say she was sanctified. She wasn't she went too deeply saved, you know, too deeply saved that she, praise the Lord, Thus saith the Lord every five seconds. Good evening, thus saith the Lord. I don't think she was like that. Just in my opinion, I don't think she was real spooky. But she was a young woman of great humbleness. And she wasn't busy in the street. She was set apart and dedicated to the holy, consecrated things of God. And that, in the fact that when the angel found her, somebody say she was chosen. She was chosen. From verse 28, we read where Gabriel informed her why she was chosen. He said to her simply, you are highly favored and the Lord is with you. You are blessed among women. Isn't that something to be able to be said about you? Especially as a mother, as a woman, as, as an individual, as a man, that you are blessed. Not, not the part blessed among women, but you're just blessed. That you are blessed and you are highly favored and the Lord is is with you. Mary had the greatest honor and privilege any woman could ever have to be chosen as God's instrument to bring the Savior to the world. We thought it was something when Michelle Obama made it into the White House, right? She was the first African American floaters, as we call them. We give, give them that abbreviation. She was the floaters. Or, or what about, I say it wrong sometimes, Kamala Harris? We thought that was big, too, because she was the first vice president of the United States, female and African-American, or even, let's go recently, to the, the justice, the Honorable Kentaji Jackson, first African-American. But how about when the angel came to Mary? The angel came to Mary. She was God's choice. She was God's choice when, when God sent the angel to let her know that she was the one. Now in the text, Mary gave a response to the greeting from the angel that she was a little bit troubled. She was a little bit troubled. There was fear in her heart and wonder in her mind. Verse 29, it says, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation or greeting that this should be. When we hear something new or we hear something that's strange for the first time, sometimes we might fall into a little bit of confusion, such words that give the appearance that life has been disrupted. But I believe it's a mechanism, inner mechanism from God that when those things come that make us become alert, that we just start putting up our antennas to start saying, okay, where is this coming from? It's, it's called that discernment. 
that discernment that we want to hear from God to know that this is right. And, and it's not necessarily that it's doubt, but it's just wanting to know the how with it. All right. So tell somebody you got to trust the process. Trust the process. Learn to trust the process when those things come. Because in Psalms 37 and 5, it says, commit your way to the Lord mm -hmm. and trust him. And in the CEB version, it says, commit your way to the Lord, trust him, and he will act. How many of you know that God will he act will upon act. Yeah. what he has said and what he has spoken in our lives? Mm -hmm. Seeing this, Gabriel, who was sent by God, he addressed the matter at hand with assurance by calming her in verse 30. He said two words to her. Fear not. Look at somebody say, fear not. fear not. Fear not. The angel of the Lord told her, fear not. Do not be afraid because you have found favor with God. Now let's look at this a little bit deeper. Pastor almost started going into it earlier. This is the second time that Gabriel is giving this message to her again to remind her that you've been chosen by God. Favor can be defined as God stepping into one situation to make a worthwhile difference. You, you like that? Amen. I'm going to say it again. Favor can be defined as God's, God stepping into one situation to make a worthwhile difference. Wow. Mary's life is now being shifted, okay, where she may have been going around picking up strawberries and potatoes Monday through Friday and then going to her cousin Elizabeth's house to see what she's doing. Her life is now being changed because she's gotten this great news that you're getting ready to carry the Savior. You're getting ready to carry the Savior. How many of you need God to step in your life and to make a shift in your life? Is anybody ready for God to do that? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's talk about favor. Now, the Greek word, this blessed me so, Pastor. The Greek word translated for favor in this scripture text is translated, I'm going to try to say it right, is kechatotomi. All right? It's translated into kechatotomi, and I'm going to break it down into each part. K, K-E means perfect tense, meaning that something is happening, and something is happening now. Somebody say now. Charito is a gift, something that is free or unmerited, and mene meant a female receiver, not giver, which is usually translated, the whole word, to me translated to grace. All right? So where Mary has been announced to her that she has favor, how many of you know that she is now referred to as grace? She's referred to as grace. And if we look at another translation in Latin, it means gratia plena. I used to speak Spanish, not, not Latin or these other words, so I could get the other ones out. So it might sound funny. Gratia plena, which is translated to full of grace. So the privilege was not a reward for her purity or righteousness. It was a gift to her to be the mother as a gift of God's grace. Mary was no doubt a deep spiritual young girl, but she was the choice of grace. Somebody say she was the choice. She was the choice of grace. And God had chosen that his son should tabernacle within us, not for righteousness, but for his grace. In Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, for, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So we celebrate today in this month of May the fifth month, that it is the month of grace. It is the month of manifestation. It's the month of miracles. Today is Mother's Day. And we are celebrating that God's grace is upon our lives, just like with Mary. So some people will look at her and say, mm, favor ain't fair. Fa okay, favor ain't fair. But listen, if you got it, look at somebody over your shoulder and say, if you got it, you got it. If you got it, you got it. Sometimes you will have people that don't understand what you went through to get to where you are. Sometimes they will never understand the things that helped make you the woman or the mother or person that you are. So what you do, baby, you just keep smiling. And you keep them wondering why you smiling. Let them keep trying to figure it out. Sometimes we'll have that one person that will try to remind us why we are chosen. You know that insensitive, immature, petty patty or petty paw that makes comments like, I wonder how she got to have the baby. I, I, I wonder how, how she was chosen. 
I mean, the, that they would even take the time to let these thoughts come up in their mind and then they let it come out of their mouth, my God. And, and without understanding the negative impact that their words have, have delivered. And from a message Pastor preached a couple of weeks ago, we just gotta tell ourselves and tell them, look at somebody and say, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth what you say about me and what you let come out your mouth about me because I am the Lord's chosen. In Luke 11, 27 and 28, there was an example where Jesus was teaching in the crowd. He was teaching in the crowd, and this woman calls out, blessed is the womb that bare thee. She was excited. This, this was a colorful way of saying, how blessed is it to be your mother? Commentators have said that this woman thought that it would be wonderful to be Jesus' mother because in that time, the woman's uh, level of prestige or whatever was defined by the sons that she had and what she could produce. But you know what Jesus did? This was his response, this was his clapback. He said, blessed rather are those who hear God's word and obey it. So Jesus was saying to her, my mother is blessed, yes, my mother is blessed, but not because her womb bore me. She's, she's not just blessed because her breast nursed me, but she's blessed because of her devotion, She's blessed because of her faithfulness to God. Yeah. She's blessed because of her faithfulness to the word of God. Yeah. Anybody ever had a praying grandmother or a praying mother that prayed? We thank God for their time of devotion because it blessed us. It came down. It came down from them. It flowed down to us. It's something about Mary, y'all, something about Mary, that she was committed to the cause of Christ. The angel continued to inform Mary of what God said to her in our text. Verse 31 through 33, and I believe after hearing the prophecy, Mary did what some of us do and, and what some won't do. She was like, I, I need clarity on this. How, how am I have a baby? Okay, <laughs> let's just keep it real. Like, that, that's my word. How, how is this gonna be done? She didn't just think it. Somebody say she asked it. She asked it. So that's, that's the next point. To be like Mary, you gotta ask questions for clarity. And I know some people say you're not supposed to question God. But what's part of our affirmation? Ask, and it shall be given unto you. That's the first word, ask. So you gotta ask questions. She got clarification when she asked the angels. She was like, hey, like, like, yo, slow down, what's up? What's up? How, how was this getting ready to happen? I don't think that she had doubt in her mind or disbelief that God couldn't do it. She just wanted to know, how was it going to happen? How's this going to happen? When see, I don't know no man. I, 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 ain't, I ain't been with nobody. I don't care what they said. I ain't been with nobody. I've been minding my business. I ain't been with nobody. We can say that it wasn't a question of doubt, but when we take the time just to sit still and somebody say, listen, I, I, I give this analogy a lot that the same letters in the word listen are the same letters in the word silent. You must be silent to listen and in order for you to listen you got to be silent you cannot listen with a purpose and intention of ready to give a response that's not a true listener that's not a good conversation you got to take the time to listen and when we start asking questions instead of saying like well well what if what 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 if they say this or what what if what if this happened or what if this don't go wrong? Change your questions to, well, when I do what the Lord says or when I step out on faith or when I receive everything that God has for me, things can start progressing in our life. And I think that's what Mary started doing. She started having a conversation with herself after she asked the angel that she learned that and realized, like, I can trust God because we know that ultimately the plan is in God's hand. Jeremiah 29 and 11, that I know the thoughts that I think towards you thoughts of good and thoughts uh, not of evil. The angel continued to answer her in verses 35 through 38 to help her understand how this would happen. And listen, the angel told her, as we confess here at MMC all the time in verse 37, that for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Now in this context, she, she was given this reference to her cousin Elizabeth because Elizabeth was old, she was barren. Now, if Elizabeth can have a baby, if Sarah, let, come on, let's go other, other places. If Sarah can have a baby, if Rachel can have a baby, 
and, and all them, if, if, if Keisha, no, I ain't gonna say if Keisha can have a baby, I'm just saying. But <laughs> they, they went through these places in the Bible that she started thinking about that, the angel reminded her, remember those two words, fear not, fear not. And I wanna encourage you that when God presents those hard things to you, that you feel like are so difficult or you feel like you can't make it through it or feel like it's not something that you can achieve, remember what the angel said to Mary, fear not, fear not. Fear not. And if it's something that you don't understand, what we're gonna do next? We're gonna ask questions. We're gonna ask questions. Mary came to herself and she chose to accept the fear not at face value. She submitted to God in her spirit and also vocally that she was like the Michelin man. She just decided I'm built for this. I'm, I'm built for this. Mary had to affirm within herself that she was favored, that she was a choice of grace and she would be willing to carry the gift. What was the gift? Somebody say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. We all have the same opportunity. I'm, I'm on my last page, Pastor. We all have the same opportunity to carry the gift within us. How many of you know, remember last Sunday when Pastor was talking about the Holy Ghost, that he said, here, it's a gift. Justice was upset. You didn't give me the Holy Ghost, but you have the opportunity to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Listen, all you got to do is ask for it and be in a position to receive it so that when it comes, the Holy Spirit can live within you. John 14 and 16 says, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you. How long? Somebody say forever. Come on, shout it out forever. And verse 26 said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So this privilege bestowed upon Mary clearly defined that she had been selected to be an instrument of possibility. Shout it out. I am an instrument of possibility. Mary chose to submit to the will of the Lord and acknowledge and by faith she decided to say, Lord, be it unto me, O Lord, according to thy word. Be it unto me, Lord. And you know, at that point in time, it doesn't say in the scripture that she went to her family, that she went to her friends to talk to them and say, listen, what do you think about this? What, what, what do you think I should do? What, what, do, you, what do you think? What do you think about, what do you think about this? The, it was enough that the Lord sought after her and he sent the angel to find her, found her in a place that she was ready to receive everything that the Lord had for her. And in her choosing to submit to the will of the Lord and acknowledging by faith, she was willing to carry this weight. <laughs> they ain't gonna talk about it. When you get pregnant, it, 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 those are the mothers, you know what it's like, that through that whole time and that whole, whole experience, your, your body starts doing different things, your body starts increasing, it starts stretching, but in the whole time, I, I learned to do this, that as the scripture says, in everything, give thanks. I started thanking God for the good, thanking God for the bad, because the end result was a blessing. Anybody need a blessing? Listen, and no matter, listen, those babies, they turn upside down, they turn left and right, Justice was doing everything but what we needed her to do when we was going to appointments. But I learned that just like Justice did that, that in life you will have situations that will come and they will turn upside down. They will push to the left and push to the right. You might feel that elbow or that knee stretching your body and stretching your faith out. But how many of you know that you can be used as an instrument of possibility? Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. We're going to get like Mary. We're going to start proclaiming it that I am the Lord's servant. That may, I, may it be unto me as you have said, Lord. Lord, you spoke this concern in my life. You spoke this concern in my life and my future. I'm an instrument to be used by God. And I'm not only being used by God, but I'm being used for his glory. I'm used for his purpose and I'm used for his will. For when the Lord calls on me, how many of you have decided that you will answer? When the Lord calls you, I ain't talking about on a cell phone, but when he speaks to your heart, speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. I will obey. Speak to my heart, Lord. I will answer. Because when he calls me, I'll be somewhere working for the Lord. He will find me in a posture and a position.
to submit to his will. If he needs me to go to the left, I say, Lord, I'll go. If he needs me to go to the right, I say, Lord, I'll go. It's a privilege and an honor to be able to serve the Lord. I want to be like Mary. Is there anybody else here that want to be like Mary? That you want to be used for God's purpose. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. He has a purpose and a plan for your future. It's not just for you. Mary's assignment wasn't personal just for us. But the mission that she took on in choosing to do his will. It was a blessing for the entire humanity. She carried the seed. She carried the gift. She carried the Holy One. She carried the word of God. And just like Mary carried the word, you can hide the word in your heart that you might not sin against him. You can be a disciple in the field. You can be a disciple in the hedges and the highways. In whatever position you put yourself in, you can do what the Lord says. We can count it an honor and a privilege to be chosen by God. I'm so glad that the Lord chose me. I'm so glad that the Lord selected me. In spite of what I look like. In spite of what I feel like. In spite of what I've been through. I know that the Lord, he has use for me. I know that the Lord, he has use for you. Two years ago this time, Mother's Day, I was in the hospital. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand why I was going through the surgery. Sister Ebony, I didn't understand why. Why I had to go through three surgeries at that time. But I found out that once I made it through those surgeries, my testimony helped people like you. It helped people like other people that's on the line. It helped others come to God to know what much they do to be saved. It helped them come back to God to find out they could stay connected, that they can be called, that you can be chosen, that you can be used for God's glory. God wants to use you today. He wants you to know that you can be like Mary. You can be an instrument of possibility. You might not stand up here with a microphone in your hand, but when you look at somebody and you give them a smile or you shake their hand, you let them know that the love of the Lord is on your life. That God loves them and He loves you too. Anybody want the Lord to use you? Anybody want the Lord to use you? Anybody know that you've been called? Anybody know that you've been called and chosen? Listen, don't let the devil or the enemy from hell try to tell you that you haven't been called. That's what the enemy's job is to do. He comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. But the latter part of the verse says that God came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. The devil wants to tell you, you were never called. He wants to tell you, you ain't going to never do this. He wants to tell you, you're not going to live to see this happen. He wants to tell you, you're not going to make it to the next day. He wants to tell you, your business will not prosper. He wants to tell you all kind of things. But how many of you know that God has the last say? Hallelujah. God has the last say. God has the last say. And because he called me, when he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will do his will. I'll be a servant of faith. I'll be a servant in the field. I'll be a servant in the house. Because I will proclaim and proclaim that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will be blessed. We will be conquerors. We will be mighty. We will be strong. So all we're doing right now, we're accepting the call of the Lord. Anybody know that you're an instrumental possibility? Hallelujah! We want to be instruments of possibility. Anybody need the Lord to search us out? Come on, stand to your feet. If you really want the Lord to search your heart, tell the Lord you can use me, Lord. You can use me in your service, Lord. You can use me, Lord. You can use me, Lord. With GPS systems, sometimes they have to have a network to connect with. The, the network usually has to, it's leaning upon a tower. Somebody say a tower. 
the physical tower is, is what the, the cell phone services and the networks that they borrow off of, some of them borrow off of the same network. But y'all remember back in the day, sometimes you used to have your phone, well, this might be too old for some of y'all, but you used to have to lean with your phone to try to get a good signal. You used to lean to try to get a direction because you didn't know where the tower was at. But how many of you know that the Lord is everywhere? He's omnipresent. He's omnipresent. And sometimes you just got to lift up your hands, lift up your antennas to reach out to the Lord. Reach out to the Lord, to ask the Lord to touch me. Lord, give me service. Give me connection, Lord, so I can hear what it is that you're calling for me to do. If you need some additional connection and power, I challenge you, come to the altar right now so that we can connect and pray with you, that you can hear the call of the Lord, so that you can be reminded to know that there is something within your life that you can be an instrument of possibilities. There are several possibilities for you. If you're watching, come on, raise your hand and say, use me, Lord. I see you typing it. Use me, Lord. But we want to be used for the Lord's service. We want to be available unto the Lord. Where you're standing, come on, lift your hands and say, Lord, I want to be available to you. Lord, I want to be available to you. I want to be a better mother. I want to be a better woman. I want to be a better business person. I want to be a better leader. I want to be a better friend. I want to be a better daughter. I want to be a better granny. I want to be better. Anybody want to be better, say, Lord, please make me better. Lord, please make me better. Lord, please make me better so that we can be used for your glory. And we can be like Mary. We can say, be it unto us, O Lord, according to thy word. Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for this time of fellowship. Thank you for this time in your word. I thank you now, God, for speaking to our hearts even the more, God, that this word will remain with us, oh God, that we will always be reminded that you chose us, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord, you called us. You called us into your service, oh God. And we thank you, Father, for choosing us. Thank you for making us a choice of grace. Thank you, oh God, for giving us favor. Thank you, oh God, for giving us favor. Thank you, oh God, that even in the remainder of this month, God, that it will continue to be a month of manifestation, that it will continue to be a month of miracles. Father, we ask you to have your way in our lives. Continue to bless us, oh God, as we connect with our families, God, as we connect with our siblings, Lord, as we connect with those, oh God, in our jobs, Lord, Thank you, O oh God, for continuing to give us peace. Thank you, O oh God, for continuing to give us understanding, God. We won't be afraid to ask you questions, Lord. We won't be afraid, God, to ask you for clarity, O oh God. But we thank you, God, for giving us the assurance, O oh God, and affirming within our hearts and our spirits and our minds, God, that we can be used for your glory. So we say, have your way in this place, God. We say, have your way, Lord. We say, have your way, Lord. Move like you want to move, God. Speak to our hearts even the more. If you believe that God is doing that, begin to open up your mouth and fill this house with praise. Begin to keep your mouth open and fill it with praise. Giving thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Thank him for what he's doing. Thank him for what he's going to do. Thank you, God, for manifesting yourself in our lives. Even the more, God, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say, do use me, Lord, just to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty.
Come on, if you're available for God's use, come on, lift your hands and say it to the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, Lord, I'm available to you. Lady Candace, amen. Let's clap our hands, amen, one more time. Amen. Lady Candace, awesome word on today. Amen. Awesome word on today. Just look at your neighbor and say, there's something about Mary. There's something about Mary, amen. Uh, she was the chosen one, amen. And sometimes when we're chosen, uh, some people may get upset, amen, because they weren't chosen. Uh, but there was something about Mary, glory to God, uh, that the Holy Ghost knew, that the Father uh, knew, amen, uh, that she was going to be capable of carrying, amen, of the spirit of, of, of this world, glory to God, uh, carrying, amen, uh, the Savior of this world, uh, glory to God, and, and I'm an instrument of possibility, glory to God, oh, that blessed me, uh, just look at your neighbor and say, I am an instrument of possibility, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, so many uh, wonderful things about the word on today. Amen. Uh, it says, uh, Lady Candace said that we must be in position. Amen. We must be in a position, glory to God, for the angel to be able to find us. 
Amen. And we stated, amen, just a few weeks ago, glory to God, that uh, that God was assigning angels in our life. Y'all remember it? Uh, just a few weeks ago, the Holy Spirit spoke, amen, in this house that, amen, God was going to assign angels, amen, in our life to cause the manifestation of God to take place in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. But we must be in position. Amen. Lady Candace said we must remain in position. Hallelujah. Somebody say position. Amen. For the angel to find us. Glory to God. And God is assigning an angel. So Mary was chosen. Amen. And she was blessed among women. Amen. And I'm looking at blessed women. Amen. Amongst me on today. Amen. And those that are watching us online. Amen. Uh, we know. Amen. That the blessing of the Lord is upon. Amen. These women of God. Amen. And so we're in position. Amen. Uh, to be used. Amen. Are you in position? to be used by God and I receive uh, some of that I know it's Mother's Day amen but I want to be in position glory to God amen to receive from God and not only to just receive from God but somebody say to be used by God amen Lady Candace she said trust him somebody say trust him amen and he will act oh God that blessed my spirit too amen trust him I love you too, Justice. Amen. Um, uh, she said, amen. Justice just messed me up. Justice said, I love you, Dad. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Trust him. Amen. And he will act. Glory to God. He'll act on our behalf if we trust him. In other words, trust gets God's attention. Uh, there are many things that can get our attention. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, uh, there are many things that can get our attention. Only you know what really gets your attention. Amen. But when it comes to God, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, trust gets God's attention. And when we trust God, he will act. Somebody say, he will act. And so she was favored. Somebody say favored. Amen. Her life, amen. Uh, uh, it was, she said her life was taking a shift. Amen. I, I received the word on today. Amen. I took me some notes. Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah, she has something. I told her, I say now, I say, I'm going to uh, uh, have you preach on Sunday, praise the Lord, for Mother's Day. And uh, I said, I'm going to get my tablet. Amen. I'm, I'm going to get my special little notebook. Amen. This is the notebook that I uh, write in when I'm receiving an impartation. Amen. From a woman, a man of God. Amen. So I thank God that I had uh, a lot of great things to write. Amen. On today. Amen. Amen. That I can take. Amen. From this moment. Amen. And so I'll just say this last thing. Amen. Uh, uh, as we are favored, uh, she said that as uh, as Mary was favored, she was chosen. She was favored. Amen. That her life immediately took a shift. Amen. And I want you to receive that in your spirit. Glory to God. Amen. And this next season of your life. Glory to God. That as you know that the favor of God is resting on your life. Know that your life is going to take a shift because of the favor of God that is on your life. If you receive it today, come on and give God praise for the shift that's taking place in your life. Amen. And so something about Mary, there's something about Mary. And we thank God that we are instruments of possibility. Amen. Yes, with men it is impossible, Lady Candace. Amen. But with God, all things are possible. Amen. And so we have, amen, worship God on today. Thank you uh, so much again for all of you all who are in the house of God on today. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to you all once again. My mother, happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. Reverend Faison. Amen. Mother. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. Thank God for it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Sister Ebony, God bless you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Sister Leslie, happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Sister Alexis, happy Mother's Day. So good. Thank God. I must say thank God for you. Uh, I don't always, but thank God that you just continue to come. Amen. And, and, and bless us with your presence. We are so thankful for you. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. Tay J has a beautiful mother. Amen. Amen. God bless him on today. Amen. And Lady Candace. Amen. So right before we leave, amen, I have some uh, things that I want to uh, present, amen, to all of you all today. Amen. And so uh, we're going to start. Justice, come on up, Justice. 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 <laughs> yeah, come on up, baby. Thank you. This is Justice. Amen. This is our beautiful daughter, uh, Justice. Amen. And uh, thank God for my wife. Lady Candace, amen. Uh, she is the mother of our beautiful daughter. And you love mommy, right? 
Amen. So we're going to uh, make some presentations, and we're going to start, amen, with Lady Candice on today. Is that all right? Is that all right? Good, good, good. All right. C come on, help me. Come on, help me. Uh, thank you, Lord. All right. I'm going to give you this here. Gifts, amen, are from, from us, amen. Uh, here are some here are some roses for you, Lady Candace, amen. And this and this balloon, yes, uh, 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 Lady Little Lady Justice, she picked out this uh, balloon for you, and that's a card for you. We want to say that we love you. We thank God for everything that you are uh, to our family and to this ministry. And it is true. Uh, today was uh, something. We switched roles today. Amen. <laughs> Thank God. Amen. I was ready to go and get back on that organ. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. But thank God. Amen for you. We love you. In Jesus' name, I love you. Amen. Love you. Amen. 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 And uh, Lady Candace, if you would stand. Amen. If you would stand. Amen. Amen. All right. And uh, Reverend Faison, if you would uh, come at this time. Amen. Leslie, uh, if you would come at this time. Yes, Leslie, if you would come. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, thank you, yes, 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 yes. Here, we're going to give this one to Grammy. Oh, just a minute before you do that. Leslie, we want to give you this bag, all right, to say happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. You are a beautiful auntie, amen, to justice, amen, and we love you and appreciate the, the role that you play in justice life. Um, it is uh, very important, and so we thank God, uh, thank God uh, for, uh, for that. Um, and while we are here, Mom, uh, Candace, Leslie, and I, we want to present you with these roses, glory to God, to say happy Mother's Day, and then this balloon also, and then, uh, let's see, did she give you the one that said Nana? All right, good. Now, I hope the camera, is the camera on the back shot right now? Okay, good. Okay, glory to God. All right. So, uh, we want to say happy Mother's Day uh, to, this is, this is, now y'all, this is Reverend Facing. This is Reverend Facing. Amen. Thank God for Reverend Facing. Amen. And a lot of times, you know, she, she get upset if people call her mother, but amen, I'm trying to help her to know that uh, a mother is such a beautiful thing. Amen. Especially in our church. Amen. Uh, it's, it's such, we hold it at high esteem. Amen. But this is Reverend Facing. She's our mother and we love her. We thank God for you. We thank God for your life. So we just wanted to present uh, this to you uh, on today. All right. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. All right. Have a card for from Justice that says Nana. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Happy Mother's Day. Glory to God. All right. Hold on. This is. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> All right. So she's gonna. Lady Candace gonna take her roses over there. Thank y'all so much. All right. Thank y'all so much. And then I have. Um, yes, we have this. Yes, right here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we rehearsed this last night. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much, Justice. 
uh, we want to uh, uh, give this um, as a token of our love on, on Mother's Day uh, to all of uh, those that are here on today. So Sister Ebony, Sister Alexis, we love you and we thank you so much. Uh, that, uh, take, that to, uh, take that to Auntie Alexis. See her back there? Ready. You go sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we, we got it. It's Mother's Day. Me and Justice, we rehearsed this thing. We, we made these bags last night. We got it going on. Come on, somebody. Amen. We doing our thing. Listen, them, 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 them was extra. Just in case, you know, we had anybody that, that visited us, that we was going to get them something. Come on, somebody. And this one, I can't remember who this one. It was fun. Yes, yes, thank God. Sister Antoinette is watching online. So, Sister Antoinette, we coming over there. All right, we're going to uh, bring you your bag, amen, your Mother's Day bag, all right? Uh, thank you so much, all right? Let's clap our hands for the mothers. Amen, thank God. Amen, we need no others. Okay, that's it. No, that's it. Thank you, you did a good job. All right, have a seat. Thank you, you did a great job. Thank you, Justice. Thank you so much. And she didn't get stage fright. She said, happy Mother's Day in the microphone. Praise the Lord. Amen. And she didn't say happy, she didn't say happy birthday on, on my birthday, but I ain't going to hold it against you. All right. <laughs> Glory to God. And then, um, uh, hold, hold on one second. Okay, that's all right. Now, I got one more thing for you. Praise God. Uh, and we'll give it to you after church. Yeah, all right. Come on, brother. Now, don't be looking at me like that, because if I ain't do nothing, uh, I understand. <laughs> yeah, so thank God. I love you. I love you. Thank God for everything, again, everything, truly, everything you do for our home. And I heard you in your opening, Lord of God, that the, the roles that mothers play, uh, many roles in a 24-hour period, just in one day, uh, so many things that you have to do and that you have to accomplish. And I know I, I keep the uh, weight on you. Amen. So, so many things that I need my wife for. I, I can't imagine uh, life without her. Glory to God at this point. Amen. I need my wife. And so I thank God for you and I love you. Amen. And I know Justice, as she gets older, she'll understand more and more. Amen. Uh, all the love and um, support that you are to our home and to our family. And then this ministry. I said our home first because um, that's most important. Amen. And then into this ministry in its inception, glory to God, uh, you've been amazing uh, at the things that you've done for this ministry. Uh, there's nothing that I've asked you to do that you haven't done it. Amen. And, and so I thank you for that. Amen. And um, 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 as a young pastor, as a new pastor, um, and, and not having many, many partners, amen, you have to know that you have a core of team uh, that you can trust. Amen. And so I thank God that uh, my wife is one of those, amen, and the reason that I say that is because I know that all pastors uh, don't, don't lean on their wife or don't use their wife, glory to God, amen, but I thank God that I have a wife, amen, that can be a part of the ministry. Uh, can be a part of all the things that we are doing. She does not have a foul spirit. She does not have a bad spirit. And so she can be used, amen, uh, in what we are doing. And so I'm honored uh, to have you even speak on today, amen, to, to the glory of God. I've had many of my, uh, we've had many of my male friends uh, that are close uh, uh, to my heart to come in uh, uh, preaching this pulpit in the few months that we've been open, amen, but I, I thank God on today, amen, that you were able to uh, preach the first Mother's Day message for more Manifestation Church, Gainesville, and then uh, looking down the road, amen, next year we'll be, amen, with a bigger partnership and we're going to bring one of them big old evangelists in here, glory to God, you know, or we'll call Lady Candace back, or, or, or perhaps you. Come on, somebody. Amen. I didn't say your name. I, I know we're still alive. I didn't say your name. I didn't say your name. But, I, you know, I'll prophesy in a quickly, but we're getting ready to go eat. Praise the Lord. All right. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. 
Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this Mother's Day. We thank you for this day of celebration as we show love to mothers. Thank God for uh, our mothers, our wives. Thank God for uh, aunties, God. We thank you for godmothers, God. We thank you for friends, all those that, that represent the tribe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you, God, for your presence that met us in this place. And we do give you all the glory, and we do give you all the praise. Thank you for uh, the opportunity exp to express love on today, and help us to carry that love throughout the year, each and every day. We give you praise, honor, and glory, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. 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 Glory to God.